Hey everybody, it's Matt from Junior Horror Movies, and I wanted to show off my horror TV mini shelf. Yes, this is a little mini shelf of all my horror TV shows and TV related items. Put them all in this one little section, a lot easier to find. So, we'll do a quick little video here for you. Alright, I was going to take them in out at a time, but I found it to be a pain in the ass. So unfortunately, I'm just going to show it like this. I will take some out here and there, but uh, I won't take them all out. But, okay, this is the Abbott Costello meet uh, the Creature from the Black Lagoon show. This is based on the Abbott Costello TV show. And at the time, Abbott and Costello always did the uh, Meet the Monsters. So they had a thing with Universal where they would introduce their new monster, not on an actual movie, but on their show. And of course, they introduced the Creature from the Black Lagoon. This is the whole show. And near the end, unfortunately, is the creature. So here's a little setup here for you. It's black and white, runs 75 minutes for their show. But I thought it was kind of cool to add into the collection. See, I have to do this because this thing likes to fall. Next, we have America's Most Haunted Inns. Yeah, another documentary horror TV show about haunted inns. Uh, American Gothic, the complete first, se the complete series. American Horror Story, uh, Asylum and Coven, pretty much where I got so far. <laughs> I've seen up, I've seen most of them, except for uh, Roanoke. Um, uh, what was the other one with the Cult? I'm so missing. I'm so haven't finished eighty four. So I pretty much stopped at Freak Show, watching. This freak show was kind of annoying. It just dragged and they kept adding new people. So I kind of held off. So I'm behind on the American Horror Stories. Uh, Channel Zero, Candle Cove. That's an awesome show. Uh, I'm going to probably finish and buy the rest. I've seen the rest on, I think it was Shudder. So I'll be buying the rest and owning that. Uh, Dracula here. Now this Dracula is a TV show put out by, I think it was HBO did it. it only ran one season and they canceled it i found it dirt cheap so i figured yeah what the hell i'll pick up the dresden files the complete first season and unfortunately only season i enjoyed the dresden files like you know fantasy trying to solve murder and everything uh eerie indiana the complete series awesome show now this is a bootleg of freddy's nightmares on uh, blu-ray someone made that the transfer is actually not bad for VHS rip to blue. So I got that on there. Uh, Fear of the Walking Dead, the first season, pretty much where I stopped <laughs> with fear. I haven't seen the rest. I don't know. I was getting a little sick of zombies. Uh, Friday the 13th, series 1, 2, and 3. I love that show. From Dust Till Dawn, the first season. Still have to finish the first season. I haven't even seen the rest. Uh, Goosebumps, the complete series. I found that on eBay, super cheap. So I picked it up. It is a Region uh, 2 DVD, I think it is. But it's all of them. The whole entire series. It's fun. Uh, Harper's Island, awesome uh, mini series. It's a slasher mini series. I, I really enjoy it. I watch it almost once a year. Okay, we have The Haunting, seasons 1 through 6, and season 7. Seven, I stopped at seven, and uh, the DVD's did. The show's up to like season 10, so hopefully they'll pull out the others. Haunting in America, another haunting TV show. Yeah, I got into a little haunting cake. Helix season one and season two, High School of the Dead, the complete first season, and it's OVA, Drifters of the Dead, which is only like a short episode. Uh, Holliston, Season 1 and Season 2. Again, sorry for the glare. I have to have the light. If not, you won't be able to see these. Uh, Horror Block, Choose Their Kill. Now, this was uh, through the exclusives through Horror Block. I guess it's one of the ones where you pick the person to die through Crypt TV. I don't know. Different episodes. I haven't watched it, but I'm keeping it because that could be a cool collector's item. Who knows? Since Horror Block is not around. Uh, Kingdom Hospital. Found the set brand new for like $4.99. Figured why not. Another bootleg of the Inhumanoids. 
the complete series since the DVDs are out of print and very hard to hold, get a hold of. So I found this at a uh, convention. Oh, great, I love it. Uh, Cold Jack, the Night Stalker. Man, awesome show. I love that show. And the short-lived Night Stalker, like the remake of Cold Jack. Wasn't the greatest, but the storyos were pretty cool. They've got the Masters of Horror Season 1. And then we have another Masters of Horror Pelts. And Masters of the Horror Who Scream for Ice Cream. Those were all Season 2. Monster Quest, the complete first season. And Monster Quest Season 2. Uh, season 1's out of print, so if you can find that, I definitely recommend grabbing it. Especially if you're into uh, cryptozoology type stuff. Monsters, the complete series. Love that show. 80s horror anthology. Monster Force, it's like a cartoon where people fight against the Universal Monsters. <laughs> Short-lived. Uh, Nightmares and Dreamscapes from Stephen King. Paranormal Encounters, it's got some weird TV shows on there I've never even heard of. Uh, the Ray Bradbury comp Theater Complete Set. The River, which is only like six episodes long, but it's the complete first and last season. For some reason, it stopped. The story looked pretty cool. It's like one of those found footage. People stuck in a uh, riverboat trying to find a uh, missing person. And the river keeps changing on them. <clears throat> Scream Queens Season 1. I enjoyed the first season. Uh, season 2 wasn't the greatest. And for some reason, only Season 1 has a DVD. Hmm. Uh, she Wolf of London, the complete series. It's a fun show. Uh, Slasher, the first season. Again, two and three do not have physical releases. Don't know why. Uh, the first season of Sleepy Hollow. Found it for dirt cheap. I saw to grab it for right now. I haven't seen the series, but I heard it's actually pretty interesting. Special Unit 2. I love Special Unit 2. If you think like a comedic, more version of the X-Files, uh, that's what you have. It's, they got some cool creatures, some great special effects. Uh, they've got to solve mysteries of people getting murdered by monsters. Kind of neat. Uh, Gene Roddenberry presents Spectre. It was a pilot, and I found a bootleg of it, so I figured kind of neat. The big box set of Stranger Things Season 1 and Stranger Things Season 2. I'm going to go ahead and angle here. Supernatural, the animated series. I found that for a couple bucks at a pawn shop. <laughs> Uh, this here, if I can slide the, I got the Tremors TV series up here because I ran out of room. This was a show I found at a convention, Tales from the 90s, the TV show. I gotta watch this, I don't know if it's any good or not. I found it at a uh, convention from someone local that made it. I figured, okay, I like to support local horror. You never know. Tales from the Crypt, Season 1 through all the way to Season 7. I always love that comic look. Then you have Tales from the Crypt Keeper, the cartoon of Tales from the Crypt. Uh, Myth Conceptions, it's like a combination of different seasons. You can get the whole season to watch on Tubi, but for DVD, good luck. Tales from the Dark Side, a complete season series. And Twilight Zone, this is the 80s. Season, so all the Twilight Zone from the '80s. Uh, v for V, the final battle and official miniseries right there. Uh, the Walking Dead, uh, season one. I got the rest of the Walking Dead up in the other box sets. And Ultra Q, uh, Ultraman step style, which I need to get the other Ultraman stuff. Uh, Red Baron. You kind of go into the kaiju section. Iron King and Super Sentai, the first season. Over here, I got some other box sets. Might as well show off the rest of the shelving here. We have the Bunny, the Killer Thing. It's a big box set DVD Blu-ray. Uh, Tales from Halloween, awesome anthology, but it's the big box set. Uh, Sons of Kong, another big mix of killer ape films. Uh, Cult of Terror and... I have the Drive-In Horror, which has the head. I Eat Your Skin, The Mancer, and Screaming Skull. 
buddy bought me that for how, uh, Christmas last year. It's his awesome leather case. And we got some like horror tins of Alfred Hitchcock, Roger Corman, the Buzzsaw Saw from Five that I think still works. We'll find out. You thought it was over, but the games have just begun. <laughs> yep, still works. And we're still going. Okay, let's put that down right there. Uh, we have a box set drive-in, the Feed and Savage Spirits, my big Dawn of the Dead box set, Anchor Bay, the Things Killing box set, which has one and three. There's no part two. A couple 50-pack of horror films, Killer Snakes, and Gorehouse. That's pretty much this little setup over here. Uh, I just put those over there to save room because my walls are running out of space. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Tower of TV Horror. So guys, let me know what you think. Love to hear your thoughts. And let me know in the comments down below. Thanks guys. Uh, let me know. Later. Peace.